Hello and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the old lady, and this is the 1914 Project, episode 20 of this alternate history save in Football Manager 21. 21. Or even Football Manager 2021. One of those things, anyway. Just trying to please the algorithm gods. Look at me dancing for the corporations. That's just... Yeah. Anyway, here we are on the past, past meetings uh, report, next opponent, and um, you can see that things have been very tight between us. While it says that we have one win and one loss, what we actually, what they have, they have a win and we have a loss, and there's three draws. One of those we did in fact win on penalties because it was a cup match, so we are actually pretty much evenly split at one win apiece and two draws. Um, the goal difference is one in their favor, but my goodness, it's a very, very close run thing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly happy with how things have gone. Um, I think we've got a chance. We just played them, um, what was it, just last week, a few weeks ago, I should say, and we drew them one all. Um, very disappointing. We had the goal early and they came back with one a little later, 20 minutes later. So that's unfortunate, but there you go. We finished tops, as you knew, um, 67 points, which is tied for the record in uh, the Hauptklasse. Uh, we also had a tie for the number of wins in the Hauptklasse. And um, yeah, so I'm overall very happy with how things went. Uh, we scored 53 goals and only conceded 17, so I'm very happy with that. Oh, that's 36. I thought it said 35, and I was a bit confused there for a moment. We didn't have the best defense in the league. Dinamo came in just ahead of us, and they did manage to nip ahead of Salzburg just at the last moment. Um, with that draw they got, with Dinamo winning on the final day, they slept pass them into second place, which is really going to rile Salzburg up because they really wanted that Champions League spot. Oh well. But I think they might have another shot at one here because it's possible. Nope, winner qualifies for the Euro Cup playoff, so if they don't get... Uh, it doesn't matter, they're, they're not going to win. They're not going to the Champions League this year, so... Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, we have dethroned the champion. Let's see what we've got here. Do I want to make any changes to this team? Uh, Stanko Juric. Kind of like who I've got in there now. Um, yeah, I think we'll leave it there. Go into the thing here, we'll do the opposition instructions, because that's just easy, and submit the team. Uh, do I think Bartol Franjic is in good enough shape? Yeah, he's just got a minor, minor injury, so I'm not too worried about him. Let's go. Let's get into this game. We have a cup final to play. And, I mean, hey, it's a cup final. It's, I think, our third cup final in this save. And we've only won one of them. But let's see what we can do. Uh, win this cup final for the fans. Yeah, why not? Let's give it a try. And we'll pump our fists while we say it. And we got nothing. Excellent. I'm not interested at all in the fans super duper. It's a 32,000 seat stadium and it's supposed to be sold out. So it's in Klagenfurt in Austria. Um, or Österreich, I guess I should call it. If I'm going to speak it in German, I might as well say it in German. We might as well should give ourselves a great platform on which to perform today and I hope the players do themselves justice because they've been magnificent all season. This could be the last time we see Kainz and Rep in a TSV, TSV Hardberg shirt. Do we have any 
Special plans. I couldn't speak more highly of them regardless of what happens during the match. I'm happy to have worked, lucky to have worked with players their caliber. And yes, I will try and keep that in mind. That if possible, if we somehow get a lead in this game and hang on to it, then I will try and bring on um, at least rapport kinds to um, take some bows. Oh, Serge Aurier's got himself injured. So far we have nothing going on in this match. Not impressed. They have Julian Draxler. They got him for free after um, PSG, let him, PSG let him go. Why is PSG? Yeah. Always ring things, Katie. You speak French, you know what you're talking about. Banged well up the field, but not is nothing is going on for us here at all. We're getting absolutely nothing. Flicked on, but nowhere. Oh dear. Good save. Kalina comes through for us. 7.1. Good man. I think that's excellent. Turn. Turn, Manello. Turn. Ugh, we got nothing. What is going on? Yeah, not the best ball over the top I've ever seen. Let's try not to kick it right off somebody into there, into the goal, shall we? Manalo. Back for Franic, and we finally got the ball in their end and do something with it. Tolic, Manalo, and oh, hello, Matko. That's what I want to see. If we're not going to do much, let's at least make sure we score when we do it. Oh, what a great ball by Manalo. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Let's hope we can hang on to it now, but nope, we can't. Oh, we can. It's disallowed. Got himself an offside there. That's fine. And we go in at halftime leading. Look at, the, look at the XG. That's hilarious. We have one shot, and we got the goal, and we have the same XG more or less as they do. Despite their nine shots. I... Am in a bind here. Honestly, I'm not happy with how we performed. But we have a goal. Oh, this is a tricky one. I gotta say, don't get complacent because they really can't afford to be complacent. We have a long way to go. Okay, that went well. Let's see if we can just pull it back to balanced oh come on there we go and uh, see how that settles us in the second half and it doesn't help us at all it took him 45 seconds to get the ball in the net <sighs> that is annoying Which of these idiots is that? Chavez, come on, man. You have to be better than that. Tolic, Chavez, but he gets the header off the bar. Trying to make up for his mistake at the other end. Good 
Stewart, short corner, Musa, Stefui, Stefui again, top goal, oh, there we go, Tolic gets the goal, his 11th of the season, and again my midfield continues to be the source of our goals. Shattered, I think what we could do if we could get ourselves a good goal scorer in between now and the next year, next season, because my goodness, I think we'd have a chance of being really impressive. Look at Musa, 6.4. What is wrong with you, you useless person? Divkovic is apprehensive. But he's much more fit than Punch Data, and I'm annoyed with Punch Data at the moment, so we're not going to play him. Because he was moaning about how we wanted to get more playing time, and I pointed out that he only has two goals this year, and I'm not going to reward that kind of performance with more playing time. He thought that was quite unreasonable. I said, very well, if that's how you feel about it, you can go. And he said, very well, I will go. And so now he is going. And having scored only two goals this year, I don't feel too bad about it. But here I have gone and talked through the fact that we have managed to win the double in taking the Austro-Hungary Cup. My God, I didn't expect that. But what a finish, what a result. Oh my goodness. We are double winners. My goodness. I'm honestly, that was seriously unexpected. That's the first time anybody scored two goals in a game between us and Salzburg. Um, it, like one side has scored two goals. So... I'll, I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. I did not expect it, but I'll take it. Uh, I'll stretch the arms. Congratulations, boys. That's the way to go. On the double, I just got an achievement for winning a double. Uh, yes, that's great. Oh my goodness, we won the cup. We won the eight more million. My goodness, that's a lovely surprise. We did not expect to get eight million. My goodness. Oh, there's a vacant job at RB Salzburg. Did they, did they sack the manager? They did! They sacked him for losing that game! Oh my goodness! They've been so good! Look what he's done! Three league wins and three cup wins! And they kicked him out for losing in the final 2-1 to one to the number one team in the league. That's brutal! Ah, oh, but look, they've been winning the league for a long time. They didn't expect, I guess, to get beaten by little upstart Teus Fell Hot Bear. Uh, anyway, uh, am I, I, I think any manager worth their salt would be interested, but um, I remain committed to Teus Fell Hot Bear. That's enough for me. There we go. All right. How's the time? We'll take a second and run on ahead to the season review. It'll only be a moment. I'll be back with that in a second. All right, here we are with the end of season review for Turn and Sportverein Hartberg. Let's get into it. We made a lot of incomings this year. So let's have a look at how they thought. B e for Franich, C for Juric, C for Tolic, C minus for Peel, C for Musa, C for Dukovic, 
sensing a theme here B minus and B minus okay how do they feel about our transfers out not happy with that or that uh, anybody else Michael Fashko yeah he was not very good he was not doing very well for us so absolutely not a problem there let's have a look at the season's results dun, dun, dun. board expectation to avoid relegation final position first average home attendance 84 47 97 percent top scorer in the competition Luca Minalo it with 10 goals a plus board confidence we finish first that's absolutely lovely. I am very happy with it. Uh, competition results are very solid. Interesting, we lost to Osiek both times. We only lost three games all season, and Osiek were two of them. Ferenc Baros was the other. Weird, bogey club. Austria Hungary FA Cup. We are winner reached the third round minimum was the expectation, but we managed to pull it off. Exactly the same home attendance as we had with the other uh, with the league. And Matko and Tolic had five goals apiece. So that's not bad. I'm kind of pleased with that. And the board are delighted. Uh, reach the semi-final minimum. We reach the semi-final, so the board is happy. We've got a C. Again, exactly the same attendance. And uh, Salzburg will knock us out. Just 1-0, but that's all it takes. Moments to remember the biggest win was 5-0 over Cracovia. Match to remember 2-1 over... Oh, lost to Cluj. Right, that's after we won the first leg 5-0. So it wasn't that big a deal. Um, and goal of the season, Flecker, a marvelous goal from the right as he dribbles the ball from with his own half for scoring a deftly executed finish. I do remember that. And it was a good goal. But I'm not going to chase it down to show you because you can't just show it from here, unfortunately. I'd have to go into the game and then figure out which of the two goals it is. And, uh, it's just too much of a pain in the bottom. So, club reputation has not really changed. Um, I imagine it'll go up a little bit once we've had the once the year has settled in. Uh, sponsorship is up a hair. Broadcast revenue is up by 18 million. Corporate and hospitality is up. Uh, competition prize money is up by 20 something million, which is rather nice. Um, 26, 22 and a half million, 23 million. Um, match day commercial is up. Steful, Tolic, Menalo, Marko, and Divkovic are the shirt sales. And uh, no surprises, no extra non domestic sales. Not a surprise considering we've got a 95% rate of domestic players at the moment. So, uh, how we lined up. Harlan at the back, Steffel, Ravinelli, Chalus, and Kainz to the right. Kainz is leaving. Franic, Peel, and Tolic making up the midfield. Manalo to the left, Matko to the right, and Musa up front. And look at Musa, that's so distressing. Four goals. Eight, or uh, sorry, eight goals, four assists. That's, that's just not good enough for, for a front line forward. I mean, it's really just not good enough. So. Um, fans player of the season Daniel Steffel young player of the season Daniel Steffel uh, signing of the season Marco Tolic okay Flecker, Flecker got the goal of the season top goal scorer Luca Minalo with 12 Alyosha Matko got himself 12 assists Luca Minalo 5 player of the match highest average rating 7.2 for Tobias Kainz a little surprised. And Marin Peel with his 60% passes completed. Um, or sorry, 60 passes completed per 90 minutes is pretty darn good. No competition awards. Record breakers. Biggest transfer fee paid was for Stanko Juric, 3.2 million. 
There we go. Pretty much from day one. Deserves so much credit. Hurrah! We won two trophies. Hurrah! A season for the ages. Well done, then. There we go. Lots of good stuff in there. There's the season review. Hurrah! Seasonal performance analyst report. There was analysis. Apparently our defensive and attacking statistics are very interesting. We outdid the league in every category. Um, interesting. 44.5 goals expected. 53 actual. 53.9 x points expected points got actual 67 expected points position third actual position first so we were very efficient this year i'd say a vision and expectations meeting there's going to add a bunch of stuff to it again hate when they do that i will deal with that offline it's going to be a long meeting long episode and we'll leave it there New season team report and such and such and such and blah blah blah. Nothing else really we need to look at. Let's have a look at when we'll come back. It will be in the new season. We'll have a transfer update on Friday. Don't know if we'll have a game or not. It depends on how much there is in the way of transfers. I don't anticipate a huge amount. We need a striker. We definitely need a striker. And um, we're going to need a fullback or two. To replace outgoing players and we're going to need um, I think a center back for depth is my thinking so that's that's the, the sort of long and short of it anyway uh, I hope that you are enjoying the episodes I'm really enjoying making them and yay us we won the double thanks for watching I hope you have a great day and take care.